So, some of the features that I've put into the poncho are as follows. I've got small loops here, thumb loops. You can put in your, loop, your, your thumbs in when you're holding onto the handlebars of the bike so the cape doesn't fly over the head. You can down a hill where if it's windy, that'll keep the, the front from going over your head. At the back, I've got a, the back ties round your waist. That stops the back <coughs> flying up over your head in any wind. I've also got snap buttons here. So that if you want to use your hands, your hands are free then. And it won't keep slipping down and you'll keep doing that all the time. So you just snap the buttons on. And that gives you your hands, you can do what you want to do with your hands, make a fire, cook some food, whatever. Also, I've attached these to put it up as a tap, but what else these can do is, if you're on your bike, if you're on your bike and it's a kind of windy day, you can take these clips and clip them together under the cape. Yeah, so when you're on your bike now, that holds the sides in tighter, so that if a car was passing, your cape's not going to blow out and get caught in a car mirror or something. So that keeps your cape in nice and neat for cycling. I also got a... Three taggles I put on the draw cord on the hood. So that's basically the functions that I can do. Apart from keep you really, really dry. So setting the poncho up as a small tarp. That actually covers me. That's the end of it there. My head's about. That's my face here. That's the end of it there. My feet. So it covers my feet as well. However, it's quite wide. Well, it's a circle, so it should be wide. Uh, I really only need. A shelter to cover my head and see half of my body. This covers my whole body because I use a bivy bag, a Gore-Tex bivy bag. So I really don't need a big giant shelter. So this would be a handy alternative to taking another sort of a tarp because it's got multiple uses. I'll just go outside here and show you what I like it is. I've just used some lines I could find lying about the house. But I'd probably make up make up some proper lines. So that's a shelter set up. It's a small Canopy. To camp out under. It's just another option that you could use. Uh, it's not the best place to put it up right enough, but there's all these wee trees are growing. Uh, but that's what you could do with it. 
and it's quite stealthy. It's you could have it lower than that. Uh, I think that'd be pretty good height if it was raining. It wasn't terribly windy. Well, it wasn't really windy that much. You could use it at that height. If it was really windy, you'd need to drop down a side into the wind. Uh, but that's it set up as a tarp shelter. And we'll look a wee bit of a distance away to see what it looks like. I don't think you'd see that too much if you were passing. But that's a it itself is a, a tarp and it's I must admit it's plenty big for a shelter. You could also hang a a head torch from the the wee thumb loops. You've got in your back tie, you could utilize that for something. Uh, but yeah, it's plenty big for a, a tarp for one person. You'd even get two people under here at a squeeze, but you'd get you and all your gear, uh, keep you dry if it was raining. And it's quite a temperamental day today it's sun and showers quite heavy showers so this would this would actually do the job well 